Hi Jurassic Kitties, Katie's Winnie here. Today we're going to draw Severus Snape from Harry Potter. So let's get started. To draw Snape, let's first start by drawing his face. So I'm going to come right here and start with basically the bottom of a U. So come right across, not too wide, and come down and connect towards the bottom. There. So it's a little bit longer. And so then we're going to come back to where we started on this corner, on this edge right here. And I'm going to start to draw a curve. So I'm going to right here, I'm going to slant it a little bit and then kind of bring it down. I want to give him that concerned look that he has. <laughs> so come to the same thing on the other side. So we just go up a little bit and then slant it down. From there, let's come right into the center area and we're just going to pop in a circle right in here. And then at the bottom, we're just going to give it a slight line right at the bottom. So let's come in here and make them draw so cute eyes. So two small circles for highlights and a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. And lines at the bottom and same thing over here. From there, I'm just going to come to the top right here and thicken this top line. Just give it more depth. And come above the eye about right here and we're going to draw his brow. So give it an arc and thicken it up. So same thing right here. I'm just going to go ahead and shade it in to see a little bit better. And then from there, his mouth. So the, his mouth was like a, a little bit harder for me to figure out. So, because <laughs> I can't give him a smile, right? That wouldn't look right. So here's just what I'm trying to do right here. I'm going to give it a little curve up. I'm going to come up a little bit and then up. So it's like a little wave, I guess. So he does have a little smile that comes up on the sides, but then his mouth is kind of flat, right? So hopefully that works. If that if you don't like how that looks, you can just give him a smirk smile, maybe. Okay, so then from there, let's go and imagine this as an oval. So about right here, I'll start right in the center, and I'm going to draw a curve that comes up and connects right back to his face. So same thing over here. Now we're going to start to draw his hair. So it parts all in the center. So about right here, right in the center, I'm going to give a little curve on both sides. And then one strand that comes out. And about right here, I'll end it and connect. So same thing over here. Just put it in one strand. Now let's draw the top of his head. So right here, it's going to part. So this time out on both sides. So I'm going to bring this down. And about right here, I might just add a little flare, little strand of hair that comes out. And towards the bottom, then same thing here. A little strand that pops out. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it as 
that for now until we draw the rest of his body. So let's come to the center right here. We're going to give the neck area right here. It's going to be pretty thick because he has this collar. So I'm going to come right to the center. And now I'm going to bring out his shoulders. And they're going to be pretty wide because he has this cloak. It's a rope thing on, right? So about right there. And let's see. So imagine his armpit, his arm all right here. I'm just going to give myself two points just to make it a little bit easier. And I'm going to come out with an angle line. Okay, so now I'm working with this part right here. So from here, let's come straight down with a line. And I'm going to break it up right here for the robe area. So and let's keep bringing this down. Okay. So I'm just bring this up a little bit more. So then from there, let's figure out his um, inside right here, this jacket that he's wearing inside. So I'll bring it to about that much and then I'm going to flare it out. So about that much and then come in. So bring this down more. And in. So then he has these buttons right here. So I'm just going to draw a few of them. Oh, maybe five. Just for some detail. And so then let's continue to bring this down. Now, before I finish that, let's come back to his hands. So we know his jacket's but right here, his pants area. So, but right here is where his Pants would start. I'm just going to draw two angle lines that come out. And so his hands would be about in this area. So come right here and we're going to pop in his hand. So go right here, sleeve, and connect. So then let's draw his hand. So it's just a thumb and his fingers. So just angle. So same exact thing on the other side. So it's going to end about right here. Let's add some detail right here. And once again, a thumb and angle for his fingers. Okay. So now the rest of his um, this robe that he wears. I'm just going to continue this down and wiggle it down. So now to finish off the rest of his robe. So let's keep bringing this down and I'm going to bring it out a little bit more so I don't have to draw too much of his pants. So I can just kind of cheat and tuck it in. <laughs> so right there and go ahead and connect. Okay, so this part was a little bit wobbly, but I will fix all that. I know this looks like a mess right now, huh? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this drawing was not easy for me to figure out. <laughs> okay, so then from there, let's just tuck in his pants. I'm just going to cheat and like I said, just tuck it right in so you'll need to draw much of it and then we're just going to have his feet come out about right here and same thing here. It was just hard to figure out his outfit for some reason for me. I couldn't find a good image 
to draw his uh, outfit here. So this is what I came up with. Hopefully it helps. <laughs> now let's just uh, tuck in the rope. And now his hair. So let's finish up his hair. Just gonna give it some curls here and there and then wiggle it back in. So I'm just gonna come in here real quickly and fix my boo-boos with this white pen here. So it'll make, so it's not too confusing for you. Okay, so much better, right? <laughs> A little bit. So they're all done. I really hope I was able to help you draw Severus Snape here from Harry Potter and I didn't make it too much of a mess. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and if you love how it turned out, please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.